Hey guys, welcome to the video. If you're watching this, congratulations on your new SteelSeries Arctis Pro Wireless. I know that this headset is considered by many to be one of the best gaming headsets out there right now. I picked mine up a few days ago and I've been testing it and I have really been enjoying it so far. Now over the past few days, I've noticed a few things that could be improved and I learned some tips and tricks and I thought I'd share with you guys today. Now the first tip comes with the ear cups that it comes with. For me, when I started using the headset, I was experiencing pain in my left ear after about an hour of use. I found out this was because the tip of my ear was pressing against the plastic bit of the driver housing, and so that was causing a lot of pain for me where I had to take it off and let my ears rest for a little bit. Now, obviously, this is a deal breaker for a lot of people, including myself. So I looked online, and one thing that people suggested was to actually just stretch out this metal band right here. Um, and so the clamping force would be a little bit less harsh on your head. So I went ahead and, you know, I stretched it like this for a few minutes and it did help. It did help a little bit, but I really wanted to get rid of the pain once and for all. And so I found a pair of replacement ear cups made by a company called Wicked Cushions. And I ordered them online for about 20 bucks. The installation process was really easy. It came with some super helpful instructions with diagrams. Basically, all you need to do is stretch the rubbery fabric part of the ear cup around the lip of the speaker and do that all the way around the headset for both sides. Once you've gone all the way around, you're set. And I can say for a fact that these are super comfortable and the pain has gone away completely. The ear cups come in a variety of colors and you can choose between like a leather material or a velour type material, uh, which will definitely help if it's hot where you live or if your ears uh, sweat a lot. And in contrast, the leather material definitely has a better seal around your ears, so you might get better noise isolation and a better bass response with those. Now, yes, it is kind of annoying to be spending extra money on ear cups considering the price of the headphones themselves. But the way I see it is if you really like the headphones and if you spent that much already, you might as well invest the extra money to make them perfect. All right, next up, we're going to dive into all the settings on the PC. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is latency, which is the amount of time that it takes for the sound to travel from your computer to your headset wirelessly. Now, in another video that I made, uh, I compared the latency between a few gaming headsets and the Arctis Pro Wireless stood out to me as being one of the slowest ones. Like I would click the mouse and then I would really notice like a small delay and then the gunshot sound would come out. But since then, I found a fix that made it so that the latency was basically non-existent. Like I couldn't tell between my wired headset and these. So what you're gonna do is in Windows, right click the sound icon and click sounds. Then under the playback tab, right click the Arctis Pro wireless game, not chat, and hit properties. Next, go to the enhancements tab and check the box that says disable all enhancements. All right, let me know, did you notice the change? For me, it was like night and day. Like, I'm really glad that I found this fix. So if you guys already knew this, A, that's awesome. And if you didn't, make sure to like the video. All right, moving on to the other settings in SteelSeries Engine. Now, it's been going around the internet that these headphones have a white noise issue. And I did notice these when I was wearing them. However, this was only a problem when I first started up the headphones and there was really nothing playing in the background. Like, it was just completely silent. But after a few minutes, I actually noticed that the noise got quieter. And like, obviously, when you're listening to music or playing games, you can't even tell. Now, if you're still noticing it and if it bothers you, I did find two settings that made it a little bit better. So the first one is to make sure that volume limiter is turned on. Now, if you're finding that the headphones are just too quiet out of the box and you need the headphones to be louder, you can go ahead and disable this and it will allow your headphones to become much louder. So that's up to you. Personally, I find that um, the headphones are plenty loud out of the box. The next setting is to turn off mic side tone. Now what this does is feed the microphone into uh, your headphones so you can hear your surroundings and hear yourself talk, which is helpful for some people. But the quality of the mic isn't that great and anything in the mid to high setting will definitely introduce white noise. Now if you don't actually use the retractable mic for your in-game mic, um, like I use this um, Audio-Technica mic to communicate with my teammates, you can actually leave the side tone on. I put mine at the highest setting and I just mute the mic on the headset itself. This way, if somebody's talking to me, I can go ahead and just unmute the mic and the side tone will kick in and I can be perfectly aware of my surroundings. And then once I'm done with the conversation, I'll just mute the mic again. Now, if you're gonna do this, I would recommend turning off the LED on the mic because 
one, it will drain your battery faster probably, and two, uh, it's probably annoying to have that little red light there all the time. Alrighty, and the final tip I have is EQ. Now this is all personal preference. Now what I found on these headphones is that the mid-tone gets slightly muddy, especially at louder volumes. So I've decreased the 900 hertz slider by one tick, and I've also increased the 100 hertz slider by one tick just to get a little bit more punch from the bass and the sub bass. Now I would encourage you to play with these settings yourself as sound is very subjective. All right guys, that wraps up this video. I hope that these tips helped you. And if it did, consider liking the video and subscribing and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.